Hi guys, in the last version uh, we had this iteration of the unit converter and here we asked uh, for three inputs from the user and we had this huge dictionary where we had all those conversion factors and in down here we did all those calculations. Now in this video we're going to take it a step further and one thing that bothers me is this dictionary here, this huge dictionary and remember this is only the length, just, just converts lengths. We also wish to convert volumes, masses, among other things. So obviously our dictionary is gonna get much bigger than that. And the other thing what, what, uh, what I find, good software should always separate, separate entities. So, I would like to have data separate from the code. And for me, this dictionary is basically data. What is data? Data is basically a label and a value. Yeah? And if I, could, if I could take that off and put it in a database and then call that database, then that would be great. And this is exactly what we're going to do here. Now, this video, this, 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 this video is the first part of, of, uh, of, co of uh, converting that uh, unit converter to a uh, database-based unit converter. So uh, in this part, in this first part, we're going to tackle SQL databases. Not much, but just enough for us to be able to handle them. And then in the second part, the next video, that would then handle calling that uh, database from Python. Because putting it all in one video would be way too long. Right, so uh, let's get started. Now, we're gonna be using an SQLite uh, database. And an SQLite database is, as the name says, uh, an SQL database, albeit a light one, but don't underestimated it is SQLite database are quite potent databases and they can be used in real world applications and they are actually being used in a lot of real world applications especially if you have not a lot of writing to the database if you're just querying the database often uh, a SQLite database is more than sufficient you don't need you know, those bigger database servers like MySQL or Postgres or, or SQL Server. So, and for our application, we're not planning to, you know, modify the database. We just need to call that database for those conversion factors. So SQLite is more than sufficient for our purpose. Now, SQLite, the beauty about SQLite database is that the whole database is in just one file. So it just can upload the file with your with your if you're doing a web app you can just upload this sqlite uh, file along with your code and you would have a fully functioning web app um, there are lots of applications which give you a sort of a graphic user interface for uh, an sqlite database one of them is this one this is one of my favorites this is the one i use all the time db browser for sqlite uh, it is an open source application and with it you can create uh, databases, for instance here, create tables, you can import data from uh, CSV files um, and uh, obviously you can also browse the data, which and this is the data that I created and this is our, these are our conversion factors and obviously we just have now one table but obviously the database can, uh, can contain a huge number of databases, that's not a big deal and then here you can also execute SQL. SQL, which is called Structured Query Language, it, SQL or SQL, doesn't matter how you, how you uh, pronounce it, uh, is basically the language used to query the database. Query means to get data from the database. And uh, for us to, to be able to call that database from Python, we need to know some S SQL or SQL basics. And first of all, this is our data here. <clears throat> this is exactly the same data as in the dictionary, yet I put it in a table with a conversion ID, <clears throat> which is basically a unique ID for each uh, conversion factor. Then convert from, 
convert to, that's pretty obvious, uh, basically here nautical mile to nautical mile, and then here's the factor. So, pretty simple table. And now, how do I, how do I call it from Python? Well, like I said, you need to use SQL, or put it this way, Python has to call this database using SQL to get the data that Python needs. And before we delve into Python, which we're going to be doing in the next video, let's first of all get some SQL basics out of the way. And the first statement in SQL is select. And I prefer to write my SQL statements in uppercase to separate them from any other variables or values in the, in the statement itself. So if I say, uh, let's, let's get a table name. What was the table called? The table was called conversion factors. So SQL, if I put asterisk, asterisk means everything, all fields. A field, a field in SQL or, or in a database, sorry, a field in a database is basically a column. Each of these is a column or a field, call it what you will. So select asterisk means select all fields from, and now comes the table name, conversion uh, factors. And go. So now we see we get everything out of that table. So that's that's the first SQL statement for you to know. I prefer, if you want to write clean SQL, I prefer to enclose my uh, table names in square brackets. And obviously, as you saw the here, the application doesn't mind whether you do with or without, it just works the same way. Right, now, Asterisk means select all fields. Now you can obviously select specific fields. And let's say if I need to know, I just need convert from. So I just, also uh, fields or column names, I like to enclose them in square brackets. And hence, uh, convert uh, from, we said, close square bracket. Uh, and I need to insert the underscore, right. And yeah, go. So now we're only showing one field. If I need to show multiple fields, but not all, just separate them with a comma. And go. And if I need to put, the, obviously I have to know the field names. What was the third field called? Factor, right. So factor. And you see, it's a very intuitive, um, user interface to uh, deal with SQL databases. And here we go. Right. So that's the first part. And, but when we, when we um, call this database from Python, actually we don't need all data. We just need a specific factor. And how is this, how do we get this factor? Well, let me go back to, the, or let's go back to the Python. You see the Python code demands two inputs, or yeah, it sure, demands three inputs, but let's forget about the value for a while. It demands two key inputs from the user. Basically, what he wishes to convert from and what he wishes to convert to. You know, he, we need those two uh, infos Basically, the units the guy's wishing to convert from and what unit is he wishing to convert to. For us, in order here in this example to find the right or to generate the right key, and that in turn gets us the right factor. Well, the work with the database is quite similar. We need to know from the user what is his convert from and what is his convert to. And then get that factor. And the way you filter, the way you reduce your data set in, in, SQL, in SQL databases is with the where statement. So where, and then where what? Where the field, what, 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 let's say convert from, where convert from is equal to, and then let's say my. So mile is a literal, is a constant. It's a, it's a, it's it's not a it's not a field name or anything. It's just a literal, uh, basically a constant, a, a value. I enclose that in single quotes, just the way we do with strings in Python. And go. 
Uh, did I just do something wrong? Oh. Oh yeah, here I misspelled convert from. Right, that should work now. So now I have filtered all uh, data containing convert from a, a mile in convert from. You see, I've reduced, I just got 11 data, uh, just 11 rows instead of everything because I just, I'm just seeing those uh, rows which have mile in convert from, okay? Now, I also need to, 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 to filter not only by convert from, but also convert to. And how do I combine multiple filters in the where statement? Well, you got two ways about it. One is the and, and convert to. And here we're assuming, we're assuming the, the user input Let's put it in here, first of all. The way you comment in SQL is with double hyphens. And let's assume user input, user wishes to convert from mile to kilometer. So, uh, user wishes to convert from mile to kilometer. So convert from is mile, and now and, is, is, the, is the sort of the, the glue binding multiple filters and the second, the convert to would be kilometer. And now if I run that, I should be only, I should be getting only one factor, which basically is the factor converting mile to kilometer. And there we have it. You see, that is what and does. When you, when you, have multiple ands in your where statement, you're basically reducing your data set. I'm gonna give you a simple example. Let's say if I have a data set and now I say, I need somebody who's rich. So already I've reduced the data set to the rich guys. Now, if I say rich and beautiful, I've taken those rich guys and now of these, I'm just getting those guys who are fulfilling both rich and beautiful. So I've also, again, reduced my data set. Now, if I may add a third criteria with an rich and beautiful and intelligent, whoa, I've just reduced it dramatically down, you see, and so on. So adding further ands would reduce the data, data, the, your data set, the, the, the data you find significantly. So that's why adding multiple ands reduces the data down to, like in our case, maybe just to one row. The other uh, uh, let's say glue or, or way you can bind multiple filters is or. Now with or is that each data set that you get has to fulfill a minimum of one of those criteria. So if I say rich or beautiful, well, you can either be rich, yeah, either be rich, but you don't have to be beautiful or you're beautiful and you're not rich or you're intelligent. Well, you could be intelligent, but you're neither uh, beautiful or rich. So you get way more data with OR, and you can see it here. We, what we would get here now is basically everybody who has mile in convert from and everybody who has got kilometer in convert to. And running that would give us way more. So you see, this guy is only in here because of this. Same thing here until here. This guy is for both. He's got both. So that's also okay. And then these guys... These guys here are only in because they've got mine. This doesn't fulfill the second criteria, but this one does the, uh, fulfill the first criteria. So you see, that's the difference between and and or. So going back here and, so basically, and run it, great. And now we see here, that's sort of the query that we have to send from Python. And that's still a bit of overkill because I don't need this, I just need that. So I just reduce my fields to this and run that. So basically, this is what I have to send from Python. I have to send this SQL code, select factor from conversion factors, where convert from, and that would be then obtained from the user and convert to, and then this second thing would then be obtained from the user and the database returns to Python this value and then Python would then take this value and you know, use it in the calculation to do the conversion.
Right. So in the next video, we're going to take, take that knowledge that we have now of SQL and use it to query this database.